Hey everyone, welcome back to Copperline Rattler Ranch. I'm Julia. Oh, we just had a flash of light. Anyway, this week's video, we're going to be hopefully finishing the block wind, block walls for the bathroom. And at first, on last week's video, we were talking about putting the mortar in between the blocks on the sides. But as ignorant as we are, we know, we remember that these are keyed blocks and this is not a structural wall and we are probably not going to do that. We'll just put it in between the layers before we start putting the tile on. So tile will come later. We still have to do the uh, shower pan um, and Don will get that done after we get the walls built. They're in there good. They're, they're keyed in. So yeah, we're not going to do in between. We'll do against the wall on each side and then just in between the courses. So this block is just sitting there. Don just put it there the other day. So we'll get to that here as soon as we get warm enough temperatures. We've been, this morning we got a low of 31 and Don came in and it was 45. He doesn't want to work in here with a mortar unless we're at 50 just to improve our chances of having a success with these walls. And one thing to keep in mind with these walls, they're not structural. They're not going to be oh. They're not going to be supporting the wall, they're not going to be supporting the roof. Um, they're acting, I guess you could say as the shower curtain uh, for the shower area. So, you know, they just need to be there, hold themselves up. Right now these first ones are really nice and firmly in there in place. So um, we looked and researched tons of stuff on block walls. We could not find anything on these keyed walls. Now, when we had our house in Bisbee, uh, we didn't have a house in Bisbee. When we had our house in Tucson, we had a wall around the property that was made with the same style of block, this keyed style, let me show you. So this keyed style where each block fits into the other, And those blocks on that wall, um, actually it was like four walls, um, were only mortared in between the courses and not in between each uh, block side by side. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that um, and hope it goes well. As you know, we're not professionals at any of this. We're not doing this as tutorials. Um, we're just showing you what we're doing, you know, um, questions, comments. Make sure you leave them in that comment section below the video and we'll, we'll be sure to get you some responses. So with that, watch on and see how we do.
Okay, we've got both these walls done all the way up there. So what we're going to do for right now, things may change in the future on these walls. We'll have to see. Of course, they're going to get tiled both sides, actually all the way around. Even these edges here are going to get tile on. We'll have to clean that up a little bit somehow. But in here, the next project is the shower. So this is the shower area. And uh, we've got these little things that Dawn's going to use to get the proper slope for the drain. It's like a little shower kit that gets the proper slope all the way around. So what he's going to do next is he's going to take down some of this flooring in here. Um, when he we put it in a long, long time ago, he did get a nice slope from this end being higher down toward the drain. But we've got that kit. So he wants to kind of take this down and level it out a little bit and then start with the kit. Consult your, there's the instructions right there. There's more down there. There's more down there. I'm going to save. Okay. And there's a little, oh yeah, the whole thing goes around the drain. Instruction template. Well, this thing can handle a lot. Yeah. Look at all those slots. Yep. That's kind of why we got them, I think. So these are part of that shower kit um, to get the floor level. You can see how they tapered. So this section, there's a little ring that goes around the drain. These will hook into that, that like a splay, you know, like starburst kind of thing. And then it helps you keep your correct drainage angle because this goes out toward the wall, this stays in toward the drain on all of them. And we bought, the original kit comes with six sticks, they call them. And then we bought a, a package that has just the sticks, it has four more, so that we can feel confident um, in that area that we can get that uh, drainage slope correct. Once you build it with either duck, deck mud or, not duck mud, deck mud or um, a concrete, some people have been using just like a, a concrete, um, they stay in, so they're not gonna interfere with anything, they don't come out. You leave them in there. It also helps with any kind of drainage from fluid that might get below that area and it'll help direct that back to the drain area too because around the drain there's little openings uh, for any water that seeps in somehow underneath all of that, underneath the, the uh, uh, shower pan to get to the drain and get into the drain without causing some damage to your substructures. So that's what we've got here. These also can be cut down. You don't have to, they don't have to be specific size. Um, so we know that on, on the side that's going to face like the cement board, we're going to have to cut them down. The side that faces the west wall, which is the cobble on the shower, will be a little bit shorter than the side that faces the east wall, which is the block wall, which may take almost the whole, well, probably not the whole thing, but take quite a bit more. So we just want to make sure we have plenty so we can keep that slope without any like dips or waves or humps, keep it all nice and, and looking great. So that's why we bought that. We did a lot of research and found that these were, were being used by a lot of people. Professionals will use these, so we'll hope it works out. So that will be a future video when he does that. But for right now, let me show you what we got to do.
I am in the laundry right now because it's kind of wicked windy out there. But we're going to go ahead and clean up a bunch of stuff that we have in the house, sitting around the living room. Um, just because it needs to get taken care of. We're not going to need some of those tools right now. So we've got to put them away. All right, I think that's a whole lot better. We're just gonna keep some things in here that we know we will be using. The eye protection, the shield there. Of course, some cleaning supplies, a hammer, things like that. Uh, these containers over here are not in the way. And all this back here is stuff for uh, some, this has got some sifted soil, sifted clay soil. So if I need to make repairs in here before we start with the lime wash. I can do that. And also all my colors are there. So there you have it. That side's done. That was a chore getting those walls built, um, but we did do it in about an afternoon, probably about four or five hours. Um, Don made sure everything was plumb, everything was level, all the way up to the top. Uh, we really didn't have any problems. And so that'll be it for this video. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Great big storm rolling in. I don't know if you can hear it, but we can hear the cranes. Can't see them. Show you over here. This is toward the east. Nice and bright. And we swing back over to the north. Doom and gloom. Oh my god. The storm's supposed to bring 60 mile an hour winds with it. I don't like it.